Good afternoon everyone and welcome back to my channel. So this will be the final Kmart haul for the year and I say that because I physically cannot allow myself to go back to Kmart because every time I do I end up wandering around and finding so many things and they are really good things that I kind of need for my home that are either really great storage solutions or just really cute pieces of decor and things for the festive season. So I did a last minute run in there because I was looking for a few little crafting pieces for a special project I'm working on at the moment. And I ended up coming out with a couple of other things as well. So thought I would just show you guys everything that I picked up and we could have a little bit of fun by adding this into the Vlogmas series. So I'm going to go through that because I do have a couple Christmassy items as well. So a super quick reminder, if you aren't yet subscribed, I would love to have you guys be part of this community. I am building my channel and I really hope you're enjoying this little vlogmas series because I love the festive season. So on that note, I will start with the Christmassy items first because I absolutely love them. And one that I found and is something that I swear if people had given me these years ago, I would have just been like, ugh, and thrown it on a pile. But these days, I love candles. I am bloody obsessed with them. I literally just want to have candles in every flavor, scent, whatever. Like, I want them all over my house. So, <laughs> considering I always do that as a little bit of like a winding down self-care activity, I do really love the low lighting that I've kind of got around my house at the moment because I've got a few cute little lights and pieces of decor and stuff that are really Christmas themed. So I got this one, which is the Christmas cookie themed candle. And this smells divine. They actually had this, I think in three different sizes. So this is like the medium tin candle. There was a smaller one that was like in a round little bauble kind of shape. And then there was an absolutely enormous one as well. That was a little bit more expensive, but Honestly, it literally just smells like a vanilla cake batter cookie dough kind of thing. And I cannot wait to burn that in my home because it smells beautiful. And I think this was maybe $9. So it's called the Christmas cookie candle in a tin. The next thing I got were some new tea towels for my kitchen because I use tea towels for absolutely everything. I rarely use those little chuck swipes unless I'm doing like my proper cleaning. So sometimes they do get a little bit dirty quicker and I wanted to have some really cute festive ones on rotation. So this is a two pack of Christmas traditional hand towels. They're 40 by 60 centimeters and there is this red one that has Christmas trees all over it which is super cute and on the bottom it just says Merry Christmas in this gold embroidery and what I actually like about these ones is you know sometimes when you buy cheaper tea towels they're absolutely rubbish and they literally won't even absorb any water well these ones are like that proper toweling kind of tea towels so you definitely know they're actually going to like actually absorb the surfaces and stuff when you're wiping it over because i will not bother to buy those cheap tea towels they really annoy me and this is the gray one which is just plain but on the bottom it has these gorgeous little gold embroidered stars it says noel and it has a little christmas tree so this one is great because it really matches some of the gray decor and things in my home but i just thought they were really cute and like i said good quality as well which is definitely important because i might want to pack them away and bring them out again next year for some other festive items i've got a couple of cute little diys i want to do with you guys so one will be making a christmas wreath and for that i needed a base so i've gone with a wooden one because that kind of more like boho sort of theme really suits my apartment but you can definitely get metal ones as well i've seen them at big w and at spotlight i think so if that's more your vibe and you wanted to like thread some flowers on it or something but i'm going to do something really cute with these so i got that and two other things i got was this one which is the christmas craft plywood reindeer and that's really simple and easy to put together and then I also got the plywood Christmas tree. So I thought these were super cute. I think they were only like $3 each and it already just very easily slots together. So I just thought that would be some really cute little Christmas DIYs I can do around my home. And I'm gonna need something to decorate them with. So. The craft department at Kmart has really stepped up in my opinion. There is tons of decorations, little beading things. There's like stuff you can make jewelry with and paints and everything. So I went in and just grabbed some white acrylic paint, which just came in this little bottle. And that's what I'll use to just draw some patterns and things onto those little DIYs. I might paint the wreath or something as well. So that's super handy. And I think this was literally $2. 
And the other thing that I grabbed while I was there are these super um, grip art brushes. So there's a detail, a shader, a round, an angle, and a filbert shape. And this pack was maybe $5. And it's just super handy to have a bunch of different art brushes when you're doing a couple of little projects around the home. Another Christmas essential is sticky tape for all of the present wrapping that's coming up. So this was really good because it is one roll on a holder and then it also came with two spares. So that is really really great and obviously I did get some Christmas wrapping paper but yet again I just think that for me I want my things to have a certain type of aesthetic and I've got a really beautiful wrapping idea maybe we can do a wrapping video together I should wrap my presents with you guys that would be kind of fun because I really do love like that whole process of deciding what goes where and like how to sort of doll up the wrapping and things so I think I will do that with you guys because it would be really nice but one of the types of wrapping paper I got was this one. It's just gold and white and it says merry and bright on it, which I thought was really, really sweet. And then I think I will also just get a solid gold colored one so that if I'm stacking any presents on top of each other and then kind of tying them up, that it will really have that beautiful gold and white theme, which yet again is just me being fussy about how things look, but I just want to present my gifts in a certain kind of way. And I think that kind of personalizes them a little bit more as well, because people can really see that that's your aesthetic shining through and really giving them a beautiful gift as well. So I'm going to show you a little something, which is actually my first business. So if you're looking to get some stocking stuffers or you know somebody who loves going to the markets or down to the beach, then this is going to be perfect for them. And that is exactly what I made it for. So I have created a little business called the Slow Living Co. And my first product are these canvas tote bags. So I'll pop a couple of pictures up here on screen from the photo shoot that I did with one of my friends for it. But I would love for you guys to support me. This is a limited edition run of the bags. There are only 50 available and I have already sold about five or six of them, which is super exciting. But I just think this is super cute. They are eco-friendly, all made from recycled materials, and it's got a beautiful solid base and a mesh top so that you won't lose any of your belongings out the bottom, but you can still have that beautiful market feel. And I also have this lovely thick strap on there as well. So it's really comfortable on your shoulder and it's not going to break. So I have designed the little logo on the front and I think it is really aesthetically pleasing. I think it is super cute. And I hope that you guys like them as much as I do. They're quite spacious and they do fit a lot in there as well. So if you wanted to grab one for yourself or grab some to gift to your family and friends, I will leave the link to my Etsy shop down below. And I'm very, very appreciative of your support. So I'd love for you guys to support my little small business. And if you guys own a small business yourself, I would love to hear about it. So please leave me the details of your small business in the comments down below as well. So back to my Kmart haul, I was trying to think of a way that I could get those slow living totes to look presentable when I'm posting them out. So I ended up buying some compostable mailers because of course I want my end to end of, you know, the development of the bag and also posting it to any customers to all be sustainable. So I've got that all sorted, but I wanted to be tying them up with something as well. So they'd be really cute when they arrive. So I just decided to get this yarn. So I've just got four ply white yarn and I thought it would be really nice to kind of tie them up like they're a little present with a little bow and maybe put a couple of beads and things on it and just present them really nicely. So I thought that would be a really cute and kind of, I don't know, like really farmhousey sort of way to present them. So that's what I've gone with. And something else I bought myself, which is just a cute little extra for my desk when I'm doing a bit of work from home is a, another little pen. So I just got this cute pastel blue one, which I feel like is such a trending color for summer. And it just says happy and it has a little bit of glitter in it. So I really like these. I feel like it kind of motivates me to do my journaling and stuff when I have a really cute pen. Now for my mum's Christmas present, I did get her a few things. I don't want to go into it in case she's watching this, but uh, one of the little bits that I got to go with her gift was this. How bloody cute. I'm obsessed with cats and so is my mom. And I just thought this mug was so adorable. I literally had to get it. And I had to hold back from getting myself one as well because my mug collection is overflowing. But I thought this was absolutely adorable. And it's literally just called the cat mug. Another thing I'm really interested in, and I'm sure many of you are as well, whether you work in a corporate job or in a gym or somewhere where you need to take your lunch with you for the day, then these will come in super handy. So 
Definitely not the most sustainable option in the world because obviously they are plastic, but I think if you are conscious about, you know, rinsing your containers and recycling them and using them for a decent period of time, then it kind of does reduce your plastic consumption overall if you were to be buying like takeaway lunches or things like that out at the shops. So for me, I wanted to get some meal prep containers and Kmart actually had these ones. So they are eight pieces and they're three compartments in the meal prep containers. So there's four containers in total, I think, with the lids, or maybe there's eight and eight lids. I'm not sure. And they are deep, versatile, three compartment containers, can hold a main meal and side dishes, embossed measurement for convenience and accuracy. So thought these were super handy because I want to set myself up for the new year when I'm back into the office and these are the perfect motivation for me because I'll be able to pack my lunch and my snacks all in the one container, pop it into my handbag and be good to go. So I really love these because like I said, once I'm back at the office, I'm not going to have the luxury of just like wandering over to my fridge and making lunch. So I really do like to get more organized and I might make a couple of salads for the week or snacks and things and I'm really able to just stack them all, pop them in the fridge and grab it out in the morning when I'm ready to go. Okay, so two more items and this one is a really good one for organizing a extremely neglected part of my kitchen. So I finally, finally got a drawer organizer because honestly, if I had to show you my drawer where like the tongs and spoons and things are, it is actually embarrassing. I'm not gonna expose myself like that on the internet, but just imagine there are about 17,000 pairs of tongs and spoons and things all cluttered in each other on the drawer. And when you try and open the drawer, the drawer is like, not today, because it is literally jam packed. So very excited to finally have this. It was so cheap. I think it was literally $3. It's called the three compartment drawer. It is 4.5 centimeters high, 33 wide and 40 deep with a grippy base. But to be fair, I wouldn't really call it a grippy base. It's just got a couple of little feet on it. So I don't think it will slip around because my drawer isn't actually that big, but I'm just so excited to be able to organize that because I do actually have a couple of beautiful knives and things as well. And they really do deserve a proper compartment in the drawer so that they don't get damaged. So super excited to pop that one over into my kitchen. And the final item for this haul is one of the most beautiful in my opinion and something that I get so excited about because I am obsessed with stationery, but I got a 2022 wall calendar. I wasn't actually planning to buy this, but I walked past it and look how beautiful it is. It's all like shiny and florally and I just thought that was so beautiful and every single month has a different color. So this was the 2022 wall calendar in the print floral. It has all of your dates and things and it's kind of got this really nice gold embossing. And then it says 2022 goals on this side and a to-do list on that side. And I have the Kmart wall calendar that I've been using all year long and I'm obsessed with it because it really helps me see my month at a glance if I'm organizing like events with friends or content stuff or just general work things. And I just love this. So this was $10, which I guess to be fair is like more expensive for like a Kmart calendar, but it's beautiful and it's totally worth it. And I'm so excited that the time that that runs out, I can just pop this one straight up on the wall and I'm already all organized. That is it for today's video. I hope you guys really enjoyed this little Vlogmas Kmart haul and seeing a couple of the items that I've bought. Like I said, if you wanna grab one of my little slow living totes, I would absolutely love you for it. And I've left all of that in the description box down below. And I will also tag and leave the links to all of these items as well because they're recent purchases. So I'm 99% certain they should still be either in store or online if you wanna get your hands on any of them as well. So happy shopping. Thank you so much for watching and spending the time with me and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.